Okay, now for the next example, uh, by combining 3, 8 times 4 chips, so meaning that we use the same chips, which is 8 times 4, but now uh, we expand or we add uh, 3 chips. Okay, we combine 3 chips. So when we combine 3 chips, meaning that we can expand, okay, expand the memory to 24 times 4. Okay, 24 times so based on the expanded memory so the expanded memory okay require five address line okay why five address line because you need to change to okay, get the value of 24 to uh, power of n so 2 power of n is equal to 24 so what is the value of n okay so we know that uh, there is no value that you can get a uh, power of n that equal to 34, right? But you can find the value that near with the value of 24, okay, which is 2 power of 5. Okay, so 2 power of 5 is 32. So 32 is nearby 24. So that's why uh, by combining 3 chips, okay, uh, we uh, require 5 address line. Okay, so based on this 5 address line, uh, meaning that... Uh, we need two address lines okay, to select the memory. Okay, so these two address lines okay, used to select the memory. Okay, and then the other three address lines. Okay, so these three address lines okay, used to select the memory location. Okay, so to select the memory, okay, we use the decoder of 2-4. Okay, decoder 2-4. So why... Uh, we choose decoder to 4. So, remember uh, what I have told uh, earlier. How we can determine okay, the type of decoder. So, the type of decoder first is based on the number of chips that you need. Okay? And second, based on the value of uh, the output of your decoder. Okay, So, I repeat, we have uh, several types of decoder. Okay. So decoder, we have uh, several types. Okay, uh, first we have one, two. Okay, so this is a type of decoder. Right? So we have one, two. We have two, four. Okay, three, eight. Okay, four, ten, and four, sixteen. So this is the type of decoder. Okay, so we have uh, five. Okay, we have five type of decoder. So how we are going to use the decoder? Okay, first you need to determine the number of chips. So based on this example, you need to have three chips. Okay, so three chips. Okay, uh, you need to compare with the value of your output. Okay, your output decoder. So this is output, right? So this is output, and then the value on your left is actually the input value. So you need to find the value that. Uh, have the value, uh, the same value with the chips. Okay, so in this example, you have three chips. So is there any three value here? No, right? But we have the value that near with the three, okay, which is four. So that's why in this example, we use two, four. Okay, so yeah, you choose two, four. Okay? And then other than the type of decoder, you also need to understand when you choose this decoder, so the value for your input and output also representing the number of line. Okay, the number of line that you need when you draw your memory diagram. Okay, so I will show you. Okay, so this, okay, so this diagram, uh, this memory diagram is actually for the expanded memory. Okay, so your expanded memory is uh, 24 times 4. Right. So 24 times 4. So meaning that uh, you need to have uh, 3 chips. Okay, because 24 divided by 8. Okay, you will get 3. Okay, uh, the memory that you have is 8 times 4. Okay, 8 times 4. Okay, and then you need to expand. Okay, you need to expand to 24 times 4. Okay, so that's why based on these two values, Okay, 24 divided by 8. Okay, 24 divided by 8. So you get 3. Yeah, meaning that you need to have 3 chips. Okay. And then when you draw the memory diagram. Okay, so uh, you have uh, 4 lines for input and output okay, for each memory chip. 
and then of course you need to have RW line okay that will be connected to each uh, memory chips okay and then uh, you need to put the value of your decoder so because uh, we need to have three chip so we we need to choose two four decoder okay so two four decoder so you need to put a value inside the box okay so two four meaning that you have two line okay below your decoder okay which is representing the address line okay so the line below your decoder is actually representing the address line that we used to select the memory chip okay so these two line used to select the memory chip Okay, so that's why if you're referring to this tuple, okay, there are two value, two bits, okay, which is representing the two line, okay, and then uh, on top of your decoder, supposedly we have four lines, right? Because your decoder is two four, but in this case, you only need three lines, okay? Uh, why? Because your chips only have three chips. Okay, so your line on top of your decoder, okay, the line on top of your decoder is actually depends on the chips. Okay, even though your decoder is 2-4, okay, but your chip is 3, so that's why your line only have 3 lines. Okay, so that is how you draw the line. And then the line on top of your decoder is actually representing the line of ME. Okay, here the line is ME line. Okay, so one line uh, connect with each chip. Okay, so one line connect with each chip. So the line on top of your decoder, you cannot be simplified. For example, okay, this is the wrong way how you draw. Eh? So for example, you have three chips. Okay, so here you have two lines. And then you draw only one line. Okay, and then you put three here. Okay, so this is the wrong way. You you cannot draw like this. Eh? This is wrong. Okay, totally wrong. Okay, totally wrong. This is wrong. You cannot look, draw like this because uh, when you refer to this uh, incorrect diagram what is the meaning by slash three meaning that you have three line that will be connected to each chip right uh, supposedly you only have one line yeah so that's why uh, the line on top of your decoder you cannot be simplified okay yeah? if the line is three meaning that one line must be connected with each chip okay one line connect with each chip so this is the correct so this is the wrong one okay so you cannot draw like this this is wrong okay so you must remember but another line which is data input line data output line and then also the address uh, input line under your memory chip okay this value ca can be simplified okay you can put uh, one line and then you put slash then you put the value okay all right so uh, based on this diagram so okay you know that the 24 times 4, okay, uh, require 5 address line. Okay, 5 address line. Okay, so uh, this based on this 5 address line, okay, so 2 line, okay, uh, used to select memory. Okay, used to select memory. And then three line use to select location location in the memory. Okay, so that is five. So here we have two line. Okay, under your decoder, use to select the memory, which is the memory chips. Okay, use to select the memory chips. Okay. And then another three line which is here. Okay, so the this is three line. Okay, so another three line. Okay, use to select the location. Okay, in the memory. So three plus two, you will get five. Okay. Uh, so another mistake that student uh, did was 
uh, when it uh, determine the uh, address line for the expanded memory, which is uh, for this case, the expanded memory is 24, right? So it will get 5 address line. Uh, so the student will put, uh, instead of 3 here, the student will put 5. So that is wrong. 5 is when you uh, add the address line under your decoder, okay, plus the address line under your memory chip, in below your memory chip. Okay, so that, that is how you get your five address line. Okay, so you must remember how you you can draw and label okay, your uh, memory diagram, expand, uh, especially for the expanded memory diagram. Okay, so this is for the uh, second example, okay, for the expanded memory diagram.